Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I will be reviewing the Lexus uh, NX450H. This is the plug-in hybrid. It comes in a uh, self-charging hybrid mode as well. But this is the top of the range uh, F-Sport as denoted by the seats over here. I love this sort of white and black contrast, uh, charcoal greyish contrast uh, interior. I'll show you around the car in a minute. But uh, yeah, as you can see, in here we have wireless charging display here we have a usb c and usb a uh, the different modes the sports eco mode and so forth uh, and this is what the key looks like as you can see storage compartment is ample and huge in my opinion yeah, it's been one of the, it's on the larger end of those uh, compared to all the cars that i've reviewed so far uh, and yeah, here we can switch into different modes, EV mode, hy uh, hybrid mode and so forth, uh, traction control, hill start, etc. Um, and brake this, um, handbrake, sorry. On the interior itself, um, over here, they've replaced the, if you if you are a previous Lexus NX owner, you will probably have noticed that there used to be a clunky, um, Eventually, uh, infotainment controls cluster him that has been replaced with this huge 14 inch center display console, uh, which has these dials over here. Uh, they give you a lot of resistance and feedback, so yeah, you can definitely, if you're not looking at <laughs> uh, on the infotainment system itself, you will definitely know you're changing something. Uh, but the infotainment system is very fast and responsive. Um, you have all your climate controls there as well so yeah everything has gone from here to here and i like that actually and i like the fact that they provided us with these styles as well okay we have the 360 view here by pressing this view button as you can see that's where i am currently okay i'm gonna turn off this the speed of the fan yeah um one cool feature well let me not be like the other youtubers so a lot of youtubers have said that uh, this electronic unlock button is to do with a is like more like a gimmick feature but that's actually not the reason so the reason behind this is actually the, the reason for this being electronic in terms of the unlock is so watch you know, for traffic as you can see it's not allowing me because there was a car passing by so this uses the blind spot assistant which will prevent you from actually unlocking the car if the blind spot assist light is on but now no one's there I can unlock the car as you can see and then if those um, no electricity in the car, the car battery died. You could also manually override it by pulling this lever, and this will also manually open the vehicle. Okay, this electronic feature. Note please, if there was one thing you have to take away from this video is this is not a gimmick, as other YouTubers have said, it works with the blind spot assist. Okay, um, but yeah, I will take the car for a drive now, and then uh, yeah, I'll talk you through it as I drive and share my experiences. Okay, getting left. So yeah, let me try that again. I'll show you it won't unlock because the blind spot. Watchful traffic. Exactly. Not a gimmick. A useful feature and it's a very safe feature. Okay. So yeah, this I would say Lexus has come a very long way and I think this car offers you the best of both worlds. So you get the 2.5 liter four cylinder petrol engine and you get the um, 36 mile range from the hybrid plug-in uh, so yeah I think this car does it's more like a middle ground it wants to be in the middle of everything uh, in terms of luxury and affordable at the same time uh, the different try uh, drive terrains uh, four-wheel drive so yeah best yeah it's a very balanced car and uh, so far my impressions of this car has been very great Okay, in terms of driving, uh, there's plenty of road feedback. Uh, I've got the head-up display over there, which can also be controlled from here. As you can see, it's like a touchpad. Just, I'm not even pressing the button. I'm simply highlighting what I want to press. Yes, yeah, at the moment, I'm not sure if the camera picks it up, but following distance and so forth. I have great visibility with these front massive windshields as well as the huge side mirrors as well. Power 
it picks up very well. Okay, I'm currently in a 30 mile speed limit. I'm driving around just below the speed limit, but if I was to put my foot down, it will take off. Uh, one thing I do like about the size of the engine is the 2.5 litre. I'm a big fan of bigger engines. Uh, unlike certain competitors, they decide to make the engines very small and then yeah, rely on the hybrid fully, uh, the electric battery. So not taking a dig at a specific manufacturer, but having a 1.6 litre engine on the SUV is probably not ideal. Um, yeah. 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 I think it's charging as soon as it start breaking. Uh, you get the infotainment system right there. The brakes are very firm. I like that. Another thing with this car, I should have probably turned it off, turned it on. But uh, you also get um, ambient lightning. I think um, over 14 different colors, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we'll have a look at that later, or if you are interested in that, I can actually get back to you in the comment section. Okay, let me join here. Okay, go on, go on. Is, has the light just using that to indicate as a thank you but yeah let me try and pull over somewhere so I can show you the exterior quickly and then I'll proceed with the journey again okay I'm currently in let me see the different modes available okay you can hear the engine kicking in now I'm currently in auto mode hybrid mode sports s eco so these are the two modes we have sports s and the eco and the dials change from red when you put it on sports mode and then yeah, eco over there they've actually reduced the amount of buttons from the previous lexus nx by more than 30 percent which i think is an excellent decision that i've made the future is going to touch screen but yeah you have some buttons for your windshield heating and the, the front and the rear heating as a um, button right here heated seating is also available uh, and in the 450h four-wheel drive is comes as standard okay i think i can pull up here I don't know where I am, but uh, I'll just quickly show you around and make a U-turn here and I'll just, then I can also demonstrate the ra turning radius on this vehicle Put it in park Switch it off for a second Yeah So yeah, these are the 20 inch smoked alloys Okay. Self-charging hybrid and plug-in hybrid available. Fully black um, grill, massive grill. We always talk about huge grills on other cars, but I think Lexus have massive grill and gives you that aggressive look. And I like this color. So if I was to get this car, I'll probably get it in the same color. Probably same spec as well with the same interior. Okay. I love this sloping uh, roof line. Luxury kind of crossover hybrid coupe. Yeah, there's a lot of words you can use to describe this segment, but this is a popular segment and it competes with the X5, no, X3, sorry, uh, Q5. Okay, uh, let me step back in. Yeah, you have plenty of storage at the back, in line with the rest of the industry, and yeah, you have additional storage for your cables as well. Okay. Let me close this. OK. 
okay rear seat is ample oh and this one you have the heated seats as well in the rear two usb c ports and a 12 volt charging slot storage here again you have the same safety feature at the back where you simply press the button and it unlocks Okay, putting my driving skills to the test now. Okay. okay, no pressure from the car coming from the front. Maybe I can slide in this parking area. Oh, it's looking narrow. Hopefully, I'm not too close. Oh wow, that was actually very easy and intuitive. Put it in drive. Take it for a spin again. I cannot drive a, a Lexus without referencing Harvey Specter. I think this is a Lexus that this is a Lexus that Harvey Specter would approve of. And if you don't know who that is, I would recommend watching um Suits, a brilliant TV show. You can set your different modes here, and this is where you unplug the, the fuel as well, the fuel cap, right. lock and unlock it. Then 300 yards later, keep left. And yeah, the boot open as well, the trip computer. Uh, the left button Wow, it's very clear. I hope the camera picks this up, but uh, yeah, the um, Head-up display is crystal clear uh, And you have the paddle shift here as well, so let me actually try to put that on sports mode Okay, and then I'll put it on sports mode Okay, I'll start from this one Okay Steering, yeah, it feels great. Not the thickest, but not the thinnest as well. <laughs> it's like this whole car, everything is fully balanced in the middle. Uh, and you have this carbon fiber ish looking trim. You can slide the um, wireless charging slot just over there to put it away, and it actually charges your phone while it's stored away as well. Uh, and then you have a 12 volt slot over there as well my first impression this is the first time i'm actually driving the car and uh, so far everything has been living up to my expectations lexus you have come a very long way and it deserves some more respect you definitely compete with your german rivals you're up there like for like Paddle shifts are very quick actually. <laughs> it makes the difference. Okay, put it back in neutral. Proceed on the current road. I would say not as much wind noise. The cabin is fairly quiet. This road isn't the most even, but yeah, it's been. Yeah, but uh, please leave a comment about the exterior of the car 
and what you think of Lexus as a whole. I think it's a brilliant brand to be honest. I think they deserve more recognition. I guess that's a job for the marketing team at Lexus. Everything, yeah, feels premium. And I like this safety feature where you simply just press the button and the door will remain shut if there's any oncoming vehicles, pedestrian or cyclist. And that feature stays on three minutes after the car has been turned off, to, up to three minutes. That sharp red light would definitely prevent you from Attention. highlighted red um, speed limit will definitely prevent people from speeding. Then keep an assist. In a quarter of a mile, heading slightly left of the roundabout. I like that it gives you real-time feedback on there just by before even selecting what I want, I just need to rest my finger over it and it will actually scroll through the head-up display in real time. So it's not just awaiting your input or a press. You sit very high up and you feel like you have a very good road clearance as well. Uh, so this 450h in terms of price starts from 50k the front wheel drive 350h starts from 39k Central console definitely put the driver in focus. Everything is just you want to look in front of you. I think a mile, that's a ja Japanese concept the behind this car, where to you're supposed to sort of look straight and just have everything else centered around yourself. In the little time that I've actually had this car, I've been happy and satisfied with it. Bit of a sharp break right there. It's getting up, feels great as well. Proceed on the current road. Kia Sportage. If you haven't watched my video on Kia, the new Kia Sportage, please do. Uh, I did an in depth review. On that car. If you were to just do inner city driving, 
and you went for a plug-in hybrid that gives you a range of 36 miles I think that's more than enough for most people uh, and if you actually charge overnight you'll get some very cheap fuel economy yeah thank you everyone for watching this video please like share and subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next video